Hey guys, it is finally a flyable day today. So, uh, it's been like two weeks since we've been able to fly. And today I'm super excited to try out the new mic mount for the GoPro while I'm flying. Well, this morning I went for a zero wind launch and I chipped my prop. So this is a partial repair until I get the replacement lines. But um, there's a couple pretty chopped up lines on here. These are actually after repair. Yeah. Those noobs. Okay. Lesson learned. So, today I am repairing the lovely prop that, um, I nicked, and this is just one of the nicks on here. Oh, geez. No, stop. Take 40. All right, so today I'm repairing the prop that I damaged um, with my lines, and it's gonna be a pretty simple repair, pretty quick, and it's not hard. All you need is Q-Bond. You need super glue or something similar. When you buy Q-Bond, it usually comes with it. Um, a couple sanding tools, tape, scissors to cut the tape because I can't tear it, and the damage prop. All right, so. So you're gonna take the tape and put it on the flat side of the prop. And what that does is it helps hold the glue in place and it keeps it from running over the other side of the prop. Take your cube on. and try not to spill the whole bottle. Okay, so you take the coupon and cover it so that it apps, you know, covers the whole entire broken piece. Open super glue. Nope, nope, don't wanna do that. Okay, open the super glue and you're just gonna put a drop on just enough so that it covers. Okay, so you keep adding a little bit more Q-Bond until the space is filled. Another drop of super glue and it steams. Oh gosh, it's hot. Let it dry for a minute gets smoking hot. All right, so once it's it's hardened, you can go ahead and peel the tape off. This is the best part of the tape because it actually leaves a flat barrier and makes it easy to sand off. So there's two sanding tools here. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the heavier one, the harder sanding tool, and it's got tape on the end. And this just kind of makes it easier to not catch on the blade. It makes it easier to fine tune your sanding. And this is gonna be the rough edge. So you're gonna take the tape against the prop and the rough edge of the sanding tool will catch on the rough edge of the cube bond. This will keep the prop from getting scratched up and it'll keep you from over digging 
and not making this any lower than it should be. Okay, so the next part, you're going to take the smaller sanding, more fine sanding, and you're gonna lay it flat against the prop to make sure that the um, to make sure that the tape keeps the sanding from ruining the prop. And you're just gonna make sure that you can tell where it's more rough. Do small circles, and you can hear it catching. I'm hungry. Okay, so when you get past using these, then we go to the 800 grit sandpaper. So you're gonna wet it a little bit and go ahead and fine tune the prop and it'll look pretty much brand new. So let's give this a shot. All right, so the prop is complete. Um, you really can't tell the difference in the repair. The only difference that you can tell in this one is we used the gray Cubon, and that was more for like, you can tell the difference in the repair just for teaching purposes. On a normal prop, you use the black Cubon and it matches pretty perfectly. Um, so this is great. So good luck. It is easy. You can do it if I can do it. You guys have a good one. Dead gummit. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not fine with that. All right, so after all of that is said and done, and all of these lines are replaced, let's give it a shot. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will chase the night. Alright, that's a wrap. I did my first flight since my wing repair, prop repair, and it was a small cross country across the whole triangle of Lake Wales, so I'm super excited. And now I'm ready to get back in the air, possibly this afternoon. Still happy quarantining.